Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my video. Shugo and Channel. Welcome to my, my Burnley vs Arsenal preview. I'm going to line up for Saturday's game. Let's get right into it. So yeah, like I said on Saturday, we do go to Turf Moor to face Burnley away. Um, another early kickoff. It is half twelve, I think. You can watch the game on BT Sport. And um, yeah, I'm actually confident coming into this game now. Obviously, I've, I haven't said that in ages that I'm actually confident going into an Arsenal game. Um, last time out, we absolutely dominated Leicester three one um, at the Kim Power Stadium. Um, and yeah, so that's one reason why I'm really confident with this game. Also, the fact that um, we we seem to have a good record away against Burnley. Um, I say away because obviously we we played them once this season, got lost one nil at um, at the Emirates, absolutely embarrassing. Um, so we 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 normally seem to win one nil. Away from Burnley, all the time it's it's always one nil, one nil, one nil, and it always seems to be like like a eight either a night a eighty ninth minute goal or like a last minute head off from Laura Koscielny or whoever, or a last minute penalty from Alexis Sanchez. But yeah, um, I don't think we're gonna go there and beat them five nil or anything like that because we are playing at Turf Moor, and all they seem to do is just park the bus and they defend and they try and hit us on the counter attack. But um, what I mean. I am confident and I do think we will get the three points um, even though we did get embarrassed by them at the Emirates Stadium and lost 1-0. Um, so, yeah, um, in that sense I am confident but we still we still got to be a lot uh, really careful because once again, I, won't, I, I generally wouldn't be surprised if, if we, if we uh, tomorrow, um, sorry not tomorrow, on Saturday we would actually lose. I just w wouldn't be surprised one bit because, listen, yeah, like I said, they do uh, part of the boss. Listen, I I, I think Sean Dice is, is is a decent manager in my opinion. I, I think he is a good manager. He seems to keep keep them up every year, and um, they're gonna obviously want to try and get something out out of this game. They beat Liverpool, um, remember um, at Anfield, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Um, so yeah, I'm going to turf more. I think obviously last season it it was a nil uh, a nil nil draw, just one of them boring games. Um, I remember I think I was like yeah yeah I was. Uh, at that game, uh, and it was a nil nil boring nil nil draw. We we it's just like no team really wanted it. Uh, the season before that, we actually beat them three one. Uh, I remember Eddie and Ketia scored the final day of the season. Uh, he scored, and then the season before that, twenty eighteen was a uh, one nil away win. So yeah, um, we we we've, we've got a decent record against Burnley um, away. I don't think he, the last time they actually beat us away was like years ago, years and years ago, but. Um, anyway, yeah, my score prediction, I've gone one, I've gone for one nil Arsenal win. Yep, I think it's going to be one, one of them, one nil to the Arsenal, it's going to be one of them away from home, not convincing, but I do think we will get the three points, and that's to make, whether we play bad, um, you know, whether we play bad, score one goal, the main thing out of it is that you get the three points, and I think we, we will do that tomorrow. Uh, I keep saying tomorrow, it's, I, I'm filming this on Thursdays. It's um it's Saturday, isn't it? Like oh, Jesus Christ. But anyway, yeah, on Saturday. Um, but yeah, in terms of my predicted lineup, I'm gonna go really strong. However, we do have a, a game in midweek. It's a massive game as well. To to, to, to determine our I can't speak to determine our season um, against Olympiacos. So we have got to, you know keep in mind of that. So um, let's get around to my predicted lineup. And like I said, I do think it's gonna be a one a one nil to the Arsenal. So annoying. Uh, I've literally just been recording five minutes of my predicted lineup, yeah, talking about wider players, and it just completely crashed on me. Now I've lost the whole footage, so we're gonna go. The time to move on to my predicted lineup. Sign off in goal, Bernardo. Um, it is his birthday today, so happy birthday to Bernardo. And uh, yeah, obviously main choice goalkeeper. I was debating whether to go with, with uh, Matt Ryan or not because he did do really well against Hassan Villa. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go with Bernardo uh, in goal. 
main choice goalkeeper, like I said. And yeah, uh, we're going to obviously go, put that in the goalkeeper position. The back four, right back Cedric Suarez. I thought he was absolutely superb against Leicester. Um, and it just goes to show you that he's so much better than Hector Bellerin. And um, who, whoever plays on that side, Saka Pepe, plays so much better. I, I did see, I, I, um, I, saw, I saw this stat where... Um, uh, Cedric and Pepe pass the ball to each other 35 times. I think it's, 30, it's either 35, 25. And then against Manchester City, Pepe Bellerin, 6. That's just... That tells you everything right there. Is uh, Cedric so much better than Hector Bellerin. Put him in his normal, we're going to put him in his normal position. And yeah, yeah we're going to Cedric right back. Uh, the centre-back's positions, I'm going to go with Gabriel Magalas. Um... No, 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 actually, actually, why would you change a winning team that um, have just beat Leicester, dominated Leicester 3-1? We're going to, that, you know, yeah, uh, Gabriel's going to go on the bench, we're going to go with David Luiz uh, playing in that centre-back role, and obviously I thought his class against Leicester, um, scored his goal, and yeah, um, you, you you wouldn't change the team, and I, and you, actually, I'm going to keep the the whole entire back four the same, um, but yeah, David Luiz was really good against Leicester, I mean, this, this is a thing with David Luiz. He has one good game, has one bad. So hopefully he can keep the consistency going. Um, we're David Luiz centre-back. Alongside him, Pablo Mari. I thought he was class. And I think he's a really good centre-back. And, um, oh, I mean, I did doubt... I, I doubted him a little bit uh, when he first joined. I was like, mm, you know what, he, he's, he's really all that stuff. And I, I, I really wanted um, William Saliba there. But he's been really good, hasn't he? And um, I think he is a really good centre back. He's probably one of our best centre backs. Let's, let's get this role, yeah. Gabriel, him, and then you know Louise, our, our top three centre backs at this football club. It just goes to show that number three, David Louise. How is he even in that top three when you got what players like Rob Holding in there? But um, at the end of the day, I'm gonna go with Pablo Mari and David Louise. I thought they done really well against Leicester. Uh, left back, obviously my left back, my captain Kieran Tierney uh, scored a brilliant goal against Benfica, and yeah, um, I thought he'd done alright against Leicester. Obviously, it wasn't his brightest performances, um, it wasn't his worst, but you know, done what he has to do, and um, we really need him to go up and down, try and get some crosses in um, for the players up front, and yeah, we're gonna go Kieran Tierney left back. The midfield, Thomas Partey did uh, come on against um, Leicester. I think we will, I mean, I was thinking whether to start him against Olympiacos. But I'm going to start him now against um, Leicester. Um, and again, I mean, like I said, come on. So, yeah, we're going to go with Thomas Partey. Alongside him, I'm going to go Danny Ceballos. Um, yeah, I don't want to go Danny Ceballos, but um, I don't I don't want to go Mahavid on any. Um, I don't want to go Granit Xhaka, so we we'll have to go Danny Ceballos there. Um, in front of them... Uh, obviously, I'm gonna give Smith a ref. I'm gonna go with Martin Odegaard. Um, been quite impressed with him recently, and I think since he has come in, he's done really well. And um, yeah, we're gonna go. Uh, uh, Smith Rowe's injured still, isn't he? So, um, well, I mean, he might be back, but either way, he just he had to come off injured against Leicester. So we're gonna have to go with Martin Odegaard, and I've got no problems with that at all. So moving on to the front three, then uh, right hand side, Nicola Pepe. Now this is a problem. As me can't tell, I got a bit of a selection headache because William was class against um, Leicester, man of the match. I, I I gave William man of the match. So do you want to play him again, or are you gonna play, keep on? What do we do here? I'm trying to think. Do we go William on that right, Pepe on that left, or did we, I think, I think um, William play left, but? Right, let's get the striker out of the way first. Alex on the Lacazette. Uh, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna give Bamian another rest. Um, and because we really need him for Olympiacos, so the Lacazette's gonna go up front. Right hand side, we're gonna go with Saka. Mm. Left hand side, we're gonna go with Pepe. But then, do do we save Saka for Olympiacos, and then put Willian in? I've n I never ever thought I'll. I'll be arguing over Saka and Willian, who's going. Never ever thought that. But um, let, let me know down below. I'm, I'm going to sit with Saka and put uh, Pepe on the left. And like I said, up top. Let me know if you play Willian for this game and play Saka for Olympiacos. But um, there we have it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. 
my uh, preview. Like I said, I do think it's going to be a 1-0 to the Arsenal win. And um, make sure you do smash that button. Follow my social media down below, by the way, guys. Um, my, my, I've, got, I've got two Instagrams. Um, life underscore off Gunners underscore. Make sure you follow that. It's my Arsenal account. And I've got, obviously, uh, Joshua Millington under 13. Uh, no, sorry. Josh Joshua underscore Millington 14. And then my Twitter's just uh, True Gunnar. Just type out when it should come up. And obviously TikTok, I've got uh, Arsenal FC dot clips. I don't know why I'm doing all this. Um, and then obviously you've got Josh underscore Mill underscore free on uh, TikTok. So go follow all of them. I'll see you guys for my player ratings. Hopefully you have a smile on my face. I'll see you guys on the next one.